candidates just finished. What was your top takeaway from the tournament? It went like I expected, except for the winner. Because for some reason, because I just don't know uh, so well, Nepomniaszczy, I don't know him so well, and uh, I didn't really expect him to repeat. I believed that it was very difficult to win two times in a row. Basically, Jan rolled the way with it. It was um, impressive to watch. He took all of his chances and um, prevailed deservedly. Ian Nepomniachi kind of ran off with the tournament. I was following it at the beginning, but then he just started to win game after game. I, I would say it was kind of unexpected because he won the previous candidates and uh, um, usually it's hard to, to win it twice in a row. Actually, my bet was uh, Fabiano was going to win it. And the Americans both played decently, uh, but uh, it wasn't enough. There's only one winner in the candidates, as, as we can see. Yes, there, there was a lot of uh, ups, ups and downs. Um, the tournament was very tough and I like, took a lot of experience there. And uh, yeah, the, um, it was a very good tournament for me because all the players were experienced and I managed to get a lot of experience there, so. But uh, it was uh, very interesting. Uh, the tournament, I think uh, the players were playing uh, very aggressively, not like in previous years. Uh, everyone was trying to win with, with both pieces and there was a lot of uh, interesting openings and ideas, uh, actually not many, not many Berlins or some, some other solid openings, so I think uh, Jan is in a very good shape, shape so that his winning is not that surprising, but still he has a very good chances uh, in the match. It was, it was great to see Jan in, in such a good shape. I think uh, it's not very common to, to, to have a player dominate the field and, and, and the candidates uh, like that because usually it's, uh, it's some uh, tremendous fight and uh, some, some players who are not doing very well in the first half, they usually get back in the second half and they produce some upsets and it wasn't the case, like Ian was really untouchable. Um, personally, I would have liked to see a little bit more from Ali Reza Firusha since um, I really like his playing style and I think he has a, or well, he might be, um, he, the next world champion <laughs> at some point at least, but uh, he didn't do so well here, but I'm sure he'll do uh, well when he gets another chance. Uh, Jan played a fantastic, strong tournament and he deserved to play again against Magnus in match. I wish him all the best in the match. I hope uh, uh, he, Magnus will play match and uh, we will see a good match. It was a great experience and uh, I mean, maybe I would say emotionally it wasn't as uh, as much uh, as it was one year ago, because you know, probably on, on, you know, in some way only the first time counts. But yeah, I'm, I'm insanely proud of uh, of my team who did tremendous work to to help me. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad. So I managed to please my fans. The candidates sort of reaffirmed my my own experience from nine years ago. That's really really tough. I think in order to to win the the tournament, you yeah, a lot of things have to have to go right, um, or you have to get a little bit uh, lucky, like I did.